I've got Zach. He's actually one of the creators. You actually invented this thing, Zach? Yes, uh, me and two other people. Okay, so I gotta. I, I just want to lay a few things out there that I'm thinking the audience is going to for sure have a problem with, and the fact that you're running this chainsaw blade just above the ground. How is that not going to go dull two minutes after you fire this thing up? Our units were designed to be very lightweight and maneuverable and very well balanced. And the user actually controls where the chain cuts as far as proximity to the ground. So it's very easy to keep the chain out of the dirt with very minimal effort. You know, one of the things I noticed with it, Zach, is that I can make this shave the ground without gouging into it. I mean, it's them big fat tires just give you enough control that you can get that thing to just go, just go as tight as you want. And I've never got it to dig, to dig actually into the ground once. Yeah. Okay. I gotta take this apart, but they don't want the chain on there when you first initial start it and their stuff, so. Why is that? Because uh, they want you to get the oil prime to the to the bar, you know, because you know the oil's gotta be run through the hose. Yeah. And they want that on, you know, to the bar before you put the chain on and I don't know. You've always kind of just read and followed along instructions, haven't you, Frankie? Right, yeah. Why's that? <laughs> I put them both together too many, too many times wrong. <laughs> 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 uh, I actually, since I watched you start to put, like, you know, how much you pay attention, I did the same thing. I was, I was like, I can put it together, and then I. I always pull something, I mean, I two steps forward, one step back, I'm always pulling something apart and putting it back together again. Okay, gotta prime it now until the uh, ball fills up with gas. This is not like you do it three times, you just do it till common sense says, hey, the ball's full. Okay, and now you you're supposed to prime it five times to the motor. Let's okay. see once you get gas in there. One, two. I'm guessing on okay. ignition. Those universal signs aren't universal to me. I have no clue which is on or off. Right. Just. Okay, okay now. Okay, so we figured out the universal symbol. Off is the O. Oh, yep. And I have no clue what the solid line is. Ignition. Back. All right, so we got the bar and chain out. So now it's just putting the chain on, and then we're ready to go. Yep. So it's, just, it's a two-stroke. Uh, let's just make sure that we cover this with the guys. And uh, we just opted for some uh, engineered fuel. So question for you, Frankie, on a chainsaw, there's a right way and a wrong way to stick it on. Yeah. How about on this thing? Do, is, yeah, there's still, it's still gonna, gonna rotate one way. Okay, do they give you any indicator of which way that is? <laughs> no, Okay. but I'm gonna put it, your motor's gonna run, I, I would imagine, this way. Clockwise? Yeah. Okay. You know, I never even bothered to, well, I don't know if that's a custom chain or if that is a standard chain so you can just go to a store and replace it. A chain that fits a 16 inch bar or what have you. All right, uh, what about replacing that chain? Uh, you know, I mean, is that a specialty chain that you can't find anywhere or is that something that if I'm out in the middle of the woods and I got a hardware store close to me, as long as I know what my model number is, I'm going to be able to replace that like I would any any chain for any chainsaw that you got. 
Correct. Yes. Uh, we do sell them on the website and we also do on the website list the model number to look for. Uh, if you're going into a hardware store, you can find them at almost any hardware store. Okay. And you're supposed to be able to pull it so you can get it. The chain would, would almost like you can see the bottom of it, you know, that's how. So you think that's adjusted, right? So yeah. where do you adjust the, right here. the tension? Okay, so right here, it's just... Yeah, uh, and I got it. Now, now I just got to tighten these two bolts tight, and she should be ready to... Ready to cut some brush. Yep. Okay, first test, well, first test spin. Let's just see if she spins. Probably that. I haven't checked the tension again. Just, uh, yeah, see, we still pull. Yeah, that's up, that looks about right if that's what we're aiming for. Yeah, that's what we're aiming for. What are we going to cut? I'm going to go clean up around them, okay. them trees out there. So. so, okay, another question that I'm thinking people are going to have is safety, right? They're going to be looking at this wide open chain spinning just inches away from the ground down here. And they're going to be like, that's dangerous. What, what do you, what, how do you address that? Yes, uh, our unit is designed to keep the user 60 plus inches away from the chain at all times that it's being used. Uh, as soon as you let go of the throttle, that chain's going to stop moving and it will not start again until the throttle's re-engaged and uh, there is a lockout on the handle so unless your hand is physically on the back of it you can't even pull that throttle um, that prevents unintentional engagement of the throttle you know start the chain when you're not holding the unit and uh, it's also got a chain catch built in so if you're running it untensioned and uh, it falls off that catch is going to grab the chain and just drop it right below the unit rather than fling it out The next test is to see if we can booger it up with this grass. This is super long, stringy, nasty. The terrain underneath is like a washboard. Not good. Let's see if we can booger this up and how it handles something like this. things I'm noticing right out of the gate 
these tires freaking nice but one of the things that I I'm no I hear you guys screaming at the camera that's gonna go dull immediately well we don't know that yet but I can tell you right now the way this is balanced it's not gouging it's balanced so that the blade actually rests just slightly up and off so you can just get right down to nothing right down to the white right hovering right over the ground I'm gonna keep going all right let's see how this cuts down low You ever have one of those tools where yeah, you looked at it and you're like, that's a joke. And then you try it out and you're like, they are on to something. They are on to something with this. It just, it's so well balanced. I mean, it just really, really is. It just, it's got a great feel. I mean, let's look at this thing here. Let's look at this. I want to see how close to the ground I can get this without gouging. Okay, this is going to be a different sort of test. I want to see how close I can shave this ground without gouging it. I'm going to see just how much control this really gives me. I'm not going to work extra hard at it. I'm just going to give her hell and see just if I can skin the, this down to next to nothing without dulling the blades. get even closer than that wait a minute I have a psychic communication coming in from like three of you right now that ground was smooth it's easy to control take it through something kind of rough all right let's do that Like it I'll tell you right now I like it I like them big fat tires it floats I was thinking that chainsaw is gonna be digging in this this ground is rougher than a cob corn cob rougher than a corn cob that's what rougher than a cob means uh, and it just it just does what it does in fact I'm kind of using it like a shovel at this point I'm getting in there and I'm scooping out some of the stuff I'm really digging in here and trying to bust this stuff up and she's just going to town. I mean, this is some, this is some woody, nasty. This is like, uh, that's wet, fibrous material. So does it booger up? No, no, it doesn't. This thing is performing much better than I figured it was gonna perform. I didn't think it was gonna do this good. 
Okay, and then you were telling me off the record that there's been a that there was some kind of a doctor or whatever discovered that this thing per permanently removes bamboo. Is that am I saying that even right? I don't even know. I don't have bamboo in Minnesota. <laughs> it's not a worry of mine. But tell me about that a little bit because people that have bamboo might be interested in this thing. Yeah, we uh, got a guy from the local university to come and check it out because we were revisiting some of our sites uh, 16 and 18 months later where we had cleared out bamboo and we were seeing less than a 5% regrowth. Um, so we brought him out there because I don't know anything about plants. And uh, he was looking at it and he made a couple of guesses. Um, could be because it's just flush with the ground. It can't get that sunlight. Uh, it could have something to do with the heat of the chain when it's being cut. But whatever the reason is, we're seeing less than 5% regrowth on the bamboo we're cutting out. Okay, one last question. If guys want to find this on their own, what, do they go to your website? or what's the, what, How do they get one if they're in, more interested in it, Zach? Uh, we definitely sell them on the website. We also do have a couple of dealers located across the country. And all of that information is going to be on our website. And that is what? Uh, www.pathmakerllc.com Okay, and guys, that's Zach from Pathmaker, and that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me give this thing a test run and discover it along with you. Uh, but uh, that's it for this one. I will, guys, I will catch you on the next one. And if videos like this help you out, that thumbs up goes a long way. And let me hear from you guys what I missed in this video and if there's anything else you want to see me put this thing up against. God bless you guys. Go get them. Catch you guys on another one. And a big thanks goes out to Zach. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate you going along for the ride and answering these questions for me, bud. Thanks, Dan.